today we're going to set the gap for the ignition module on the Still TS410 cutoff saw. First of all use a torque spanner to remove the four screws securing the flywheel cover on the side of the machine. You will then gain access to the ignition module and the flywheel. Use a torque spanner to loosen the two screws which hold the ignition module in place. This will make it easier to set the gap. Completely remove the two screws with the torque spanner to free the ignition module. You can check the ignition module to see if the wires are still intact and that it hasn't started to wear. Relocate the ignition module and screw back on. Don't fully tighten so it's easier to set the gap. Place the setting gauge in position, with it being magnetic it will easily stick on. Spin the flywheel round until the setting gauge is sitting directly in between the flywheel and the ignition module. Once this is in place you can now fully tighten the ignition module which will set the gap. Now the gap is set you can remove the setting gauge safely. Check the flywheel is moving smoothly by turning it a few times. Once that's done, relocate the flywheel cover over the side of the machine and screw back into place using the torque spanner. Make sure the cover is securely on. That's how you set the gap on the Still TS410. All the parts and tools needed for the task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.